Hi everyone. So welcome to PCF. So today uh, we are going to discuss about. Yesterday we have discussed about uh, like how to you know. So the introduction and then uh, first package we have created created, and then now so that is with the comma separated. Okay, comma separated file we have loaded into the SQL Server destination. Now so we have used the pipe delimiter. Okay, let me open the file. So what is the pipe symbol file? So this is the five symbol. Okay, ID name and uh, salary is there so we have a id name uh, salary with the pipe symbol so this one we will load into the uh, so that is in our uh, you know uh, local folder from here we will load into the uh, sql server okay by using ssis so our source is um, text file and then we are loading into the text file uh, loading into the uh, no SQL uh, table. Okay, so that is our main goal. Okay, that is our main goal. Now let let me open even Visual Studio as well. Okay, Visual Studio 2019. So you can click on that. It will also open. So both are opening. So like we can go with the continue without code. You can click on without code. And uh, so even uh, this is also open, but um, So this is also open. Uh, if you want a separate table, okay, like it's already uh, one table is there, employee table. But if you want uh, another table also, we'll load that in another table, okay. So that is the target actually. So whatever the Excel data is there, so that Excel data will load into here. Hope you are clear, right? So that is the Excel data. This uh, sorry, CSV data, uh, pipeline data, text file data, that is loading into the SQL Server. Okay, that is our goal. Now, let me go and then create a new project. Or else, if you want to open a project, you can go and then open a project. Okay, so if you have already project, you can go and then so open that. So, like, I don't want to open. I want to go with the new project. So, let's go here and then so click on and then so new project and then save that project. Okay, me so wherever you want to save, just click on that integration services. Okay. So this is, um, you know, SSIS uh, demo, SSIS uh, demo class two, class two. That is our package name. And then even even you want to change the location. So by default, it will uh, save this in lo this location. Okay. Uh, but if you want to save that, uh, you know, in, in your default location like uh, SSIS. So then you can go and then select that folder and then create. Okay, so it's creating D drive YouTube SSIS. So there it is creating. Okay, so that is the folder where it is. Uh, so you where you want to create your SSIS package. Now, so let's take a data flow task. We are discussing about the data flow task. Guys, okay, data flow task is a part of control flow only. But uh, the thing is, data flow is have a major part here. Why? Because actual etl operation okay extract transform and load thing will happen in only in the data flow the remaining tasks are okay it's not you know uh, etl purpose just it will you know processing and copying the files moving the files and cleaning the so not cleaning purpose like moving data from one so one one area to another area so this task um, mainly other task use but data flow task will have actual ETL uh, things, okay. So it will have the source transformations and destination. Okay, now we are going to convert. Uh, we are going to connect connect flat file. Okay, let's drag and drop the flat file. Okay, select this flat file. Okay, this time we are going to connect with the pipe file. Okay, pipe file. Just now I opened the five uh, pipe file, right? So the same file we are going to connect. Just click on browse. Okay, which location you have that file? Okay, this PC, okay, SSI uh, practice files. Okay, there is a pipe file and then click on that. Okay, click on that and see. So this is the language and this code page and delimiter. Okay, so if you go to the advanced editor, see automatically it's identified, it's a vertical bar. Okay, automatically the delimiter is identified, Power BI is a vertical bar. So we have a different types of, you know, um, 
things are there even we can see even uh, no tab also and the remaining uh, things also so here you can see like delimiter what is the delimiter and all and uh, you can go with the advanced editor if you want to change the friendly name like id okay and uh, so what is the delimiter and all if you want to change the delimiter you can change and then even uh, you if you want to change the data types all okay we can uh, change here data types we can change and then uh, the length of that uh, you know column length also we can change okay so even name okay and then says what is this um, text qualified we'll see that okay uh, we'll uh, we'll discuss about that one later and then if you want to preview like how the data is coming and all so if you want to skip any rows then you can uh, click here um, so for now i am not skipping anything just click okay and uh, this option okay retain null values from the source okay this is also we'll discuss in the next class whenever you are like some bank blank data so if you want to if you don't want the blank data into your destination so wherever you blanks uh, replace with the nulls then you can go with the check this okay this is also we'll uh, discuss in a separate class and then go here and then so uh, columns and then click okay so the uh, so we connected the flat file now okay we connected the flat file tab flat file and then we want to load the data into oldb destination okay OL, oldb destination oldb destination means our sql server destination okay now you have to configure this oldb destination okay let's go here and then um, click on connection okay so let's delete the connection so create a new connection so here you can provide your server name but um, mine is the local server even if you want to keep the your dot dot okay that is our local server and i have created db ss ssis db okay and then click on text connection okay so everything is a drag and drop guys okay that is the you know beauty of ssis okay you have to drag and drop and then uh, select the connections and then so if if the table okay if you want to create a new table no need to go and then create a table in your um, sql server just if you click here new so it automatically create okay it will give the uh, create script okay it will give the create script and all so how many columns so suppose um, there are um, you know almost 50 columns are there if you go and then create a um, 50 uh, 50 columns it will take some time right so just you can go and then click new here it automatically create a table for you so it, table script for you if you difficult to write a script here or something uh, you can go here and uh, you can paste it here and even uh, you can execute from here also like otherwise um, so you can select the uh, table or database where you want to create and you can change the table name okay whatever the way you want uh, tbl uh, employee details okay employee pipe otherwise you can write pipe okay pipe table data is coming to this shape okay you can uh, you know take this and uh, if you if you want to execute here you can execute otherwise so this will only create okay well uh, running the uh, no, ssi package it will create the uh, table okay click okay and uh, mapping so everything is mapped okay id id mapped and name name and salary salary mapped so how many columns you have okay this is the source column and this is the destination column see these are the source columns and these are the destination columns okay if you don't map salary so you will get salary null values okay in the destination you will get null values okay if it is just like okay it is not mapping then uh, the salary will be blank in the output okay so in destination you will get a out blanks okay so you need to click the mappings and then you need to check okay all columns are mapped source and destination columns are mapped or not and also whether this uh, you know data types are same or not you need to check okay if the data types are not same even again you will get an um something okay uh, red here okay red means it's not configured properly okay then execute okay then execute so then uh, the pipeline data so uh, pipe delimiter data will be loaded into that table see three rows loaded okay three rows loaded just uh, go and select that so this way we can go and uh, load this 
pipe line pipe uh, delimiter data into table case okay um, so in the next video we'll see excel data into uh, excel data into sql server okay uh, thank you test hope you like the video uh, please you know subscribe my channel if you watch the first time okay thank you